I think that uh, having standard interfaces and standard data models as we are promoting uh, in Europe, thanks to ELISA and other uh, European initiatives, um, uh, leads the way of having a more structured uh, uh, data science capabilities and toolboxes uh, across, across Europe. So we'll be able to um, reuse the technology, reduce the effort, reduce the effort on putting those things to market and to replicate the solutions when they go well, uh, but also quickly learn how, how to, what didn't went well and uh, quickly correct and replicate to the other uh, scenarios. So I think this is a, a win-win uh, approach. And if we create awareness at the policy level that uh, these open standards uh, help out on meeting the policy goals that are also being defined uh, at different governments, then I think it, it only accelerates uh, instead of slowing down. So we'd like to, to um, um, for this to continue because interoperability is, is, is the key. Um, we know that 80% of, of government data has a geospatial component. So um, this is a key aspect of, of the data in, in order to, to get more policy driven, more data driven policy, um, we need this geospatial component um, to be used and, and to, to be used to its full potential. Um, so we think it's, it's a very important aspect and um, only by being interoperable this geospatial component can be used and, and will be used. Um, so we, we're hoping to um, keep this interoperability at, at the core um, or at least in, in the mind of, of um, policy makers um, so that more can be achieved in, in, in the coming years and therefore a program like ELISE is, is very helpful. Um, not only uh, cross-border but also within within the member states. Talking about the different domains we have uh, working with in ISO TC211, I would like to see a little bit more, uh, if possible, more relation at international level with uh, um, the more regional or, or international activities uh, on public uh, e-government or public administration information um, and uh, I know that there is for, for the moment uh, an initiative within our committee to work with the government issues and I, I would like to see I would like to ensure that we have good uh, uh, speaking um, channels between for instance then the ELIS initiative and ISO TC211 so that would be my um, to continue to have uh, or, or maybe to develop the relations uh, with the international standards and that also on, on the one hand and then the uh, LISA work. I would really wish to see some sort of uh, systematic follow-up in the way that uh, whatever shape it will get in the future it would be it would be highly appreciated to to continue with the things which were identified on the when we were uh, recently uh, somehow concluding the outcomes of the of the project and initiative that those topics which were identified as important would be great to see uh, continue also in the future and uh, and really if possible uh, uh, somehow mm, sure that the involvement of the, the countries is uh, is uh, a bit higher and i know it's not easy to achieve because of various limitations also on european level but that's something what uh, i think uh, might help in uh, in increase of the attractiveness of such initiatives for the future what i think the elise elise action of, of future actions similar to ELISA should do uh, is they should um, build on that uh, in terms of the technology trends to help the uh, community identify what technologies uh, will have an impact on uh, on location and um, you know causes of action uh, the you know the geospatial community should do to uh, to apply or you know or to prepare for those uh, technologies. Uh, now, I think that is something that um, Elise and, uh, and and other uh, actions like it uh, should um, you know sh should explore future tech trends, 
uh, and how the geospatial community should, um, you know, should, should address them. Thank you.